Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you it's the blackest man on social media signing black in and shining again asking you to hit the share button because well you know the message is more important than the messenger um, two things I'm going to cover in this one the first one's going to be about my mans in Malaysia uh, he as y'all may remember from the previous one um, he dumped his previous fiance of five years and uh, he met someone else afterwards shortly before my wife and I got to his country for the, for the second trip. Uh, they showed us around. She was like the tour guide he drove and he said this was great because uh, it, it gave him a chance to finally enjoy his own city. Um, not always taking people places but actually experiencing some of what he was telling his uh, previous customers about and then when I got to uh, um, when I got up this morning I got messages from him and he said I had to leave her she uh, I wasn't going to I was going to tell her that uh, I'm going to take a break uh, until she calms herself down because she, when the pain hits her She'll just cuss and cuss and say anything to anybody. And I said to him, the pain? Oh, that's right. See, she was a leukemia patient, and I was under the impression that she had beaten it. Um, but apparently, she still had it, and she was not taking the normal treatment from the physicians. Okay, now you see. So when the pain would get her, she would cuss him out, cuss out other people, and you see, he bumped into his ex, um, and she tried to win him back with a sling bag, as she said, that actually was a woman's purse. She tried to pass off a woman's purse like it was a sling bag that a guy could wear. And she made the excuse that because of her thyroid condition, she was emotionally unstable when they split. And so when she tried to make that reason, make that excuse, um... He was still with, uh, he was, yeah, he was still planning on marrying the lady that, uh, the, the second one, the one that went uh, and took us on the tours. But she was try trying to win him back, and he said, wow, <laughs> I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought you would have a better idea than this. You didn't spend, I mean, this. look at this. It cost thousands. You didn't spend this on me. You spent it on yourself. Tell the truth. Look, next time, just don't treat the next guy as badly as you treated me. And he'll stick around. Now then he has to deal with. The current who has leukemia. And he said I think I understand why her ex struck her. Because of her mouth. I wouldn't strike her. But he struck her probably because of that mouth. He may not have known uh, about the pain. And I told her you get the treatment. You'll beat the pain. I already talked to my uncle who's a doctor. You're not advanced enough, uh, you're not far enough along to where they have to do chemo and put you through more pain. But she wouldn't even let anybody close enough to her when the pain would strike to do the treatment. So, he said, I'm done with her too. First I just said, I'm going to see you in a few days when you cool off, stop cussing. And she said, oh, so you leaving. Thanks for telling me I'm so hard to love. And he was like, didn't say that, but you all hard to, to be around when you're in pain because you won't let anybody treat you. And um, the thing is, see, these were both westernized women. She had lived abroad a lot in western countries. His first uh, fiance had gotten this stuff. He said, I think she got it from Instagram following these western women on Instagram. Now, this time. Instead of dealing with it for five years, he straight cut her loose as soon as he saw that this was going to be a pattern and not a one-time or a rare thing. And he thanked me. He said, I want to thank you for the advice. Um, because, see, he understands that he ain't got to tolerate this. The thing is, um, he's in a country where this sort of thing is rare. But he wasn't thinking about it like that until I asked him the question, how common is this for women to act like your, your ex fiance He said, actually, it's quite rare. So I'm going to tell you guys this. Malaysia, Indonesia, 
probably southern thailand where the muslims are southern philippines you know you guys can probably go to these areas and i'm talking I'm, let's talk to the muslims or the guys who are looking for wives you can go to these areas and you can find women that if you uphold your responsibilities uh, are not going to be fighting you going against you and trying to emasculate you i think you can still find them but i also want you to understand this too gentlemen when you go, you must say with one voice. If you act like that broad over there that I left over the ocean and several continents. 12 time zones away. I will bounce on you too. You will drive me to hell away because nobody can deal with them. No one can live with them. That's what you say to them. You see, there's a man who had to resign um, from a position of royalty in Malaysia recently because he married um, a European bikini model. And the people said, you ain't going to represent us as royalty like that. Now, you got married. OK, congratulations. But you must you ain't supposed to be doing that. No way. And, and since you did it, you ain't royalty no more. So he had to step down. He had to bounce on it, on the position. Just give it up. Now, um, that says something right there. But you can go to these areas and you can use that bit of knowledge and you can say to them, look, you remember that, that man of royalty that had to step down from that position? If you choose to go to this country specifically, you can say to these women, if they start acting like trouble or they start uh, trying to follow the Western women when you with them, you can say to them, look, there's a reason why it took him to marry that, that bikini model from Europe. There's a reason it had to be him to do it. Look how much he has. Because regular, normal men are never good enough for them. You see, she's the model. But the regular, run-of-the-mill women in the West think that they all deserve the same thing. And they ain't even models. They wouldn't even dare stay in shape as much as she did. And she got problems. But understand what he had to be in order to marry the swimsuit model that I bet you was bat boo-boo crazy. Now, I apologize for the wind noise. So the next thing I wanted to tell you all is about um, it, it's about the, the colleague of mine. Now, on second thought, I'm going to make that its own recording. That should be the next one, inshallah. But for right now, um, I wanted to thank some of you other guys in the manosphere. I want to thank uh, Abdullah bin Bobby. Um, Dwight Hayes, Don Calypso, uh, Angry Man, to a certain extent O'Shea, but definitely LAR Movement, BGS. LAR Movement and BGS, Ipmore. I'd like to give those guys a shout out for, um, and, and LOM, Line of MGTOW, for pointing out what men do not have to deal with, period. Because now, when they're trying this stuff, and this is kind of a new phenomena in another country, um, now there's a young man that understands he ain't got to deal with this in the name of being a good man to women. He ain't got to tolerate this mess. And he's going to tell other men they ain't got to tolerate it either. If they're being responsible men holding up the end of the bargain, they can tell all of them, look, you ain't going to act like that woman over there. You ain't fitting to do that. I'll pay the cost. I'm going to be the boss. End of story. And a little message to call a B right quick since I remember it and I got time before I have to go into this classroom. Call it. You just showed why it is that men are leaving. You don't want men to ask what women, well, okay, well, what are you doing? But you want to ask black men, well, what are you doing? It doesn't go one way. It never did go one way. And that is exactly what BGS has been telling us for the longest. This is how you drive away your black men. This is going to drive away any man, period. But you just illustrated it. I mean, right there, literally in black and white, coming from you. Um, I'm not saying this out of hatred. I'm saying this so that you understand that you answered your own question. So you're going to say, don't give birth to us because we're not built to succeed. Look, you don't have to worry. Apparently already that's been taken care of. How many of us have been aborted? And the majority of them were males. Anyway, you get the idea. Blackest man on social media, sign a black off. Salam alaikum. Black male power just because you don't like it.